things on VVS. So I asked you guys on Instagram whether or not you guys want me to show you guys an episode like a trip to the thrift haul where I show you guys what I have for sale or if I show you guys nothing. And you guys voted yes. So I, that's what I'm going to be doing this little episode. Today I wasn't going to upload at all so it's kind of just bonus footage. You guys are going to see what's for sale, a little trip to the thrift haul. Again, I haven't done this in a while, especially now in my new apartment. But for some reason the audio is echoey. I'm sorry. This is just all I have for the time being. So let's just jump into it. We're going to start off with t-shirts. Now these t-shirts are going to be fairly cheap. Uh, this one's going to be 10 bucks. We have the bootleg vintage Ralph Lauren with the Ralph Lauren spell out. Now this is on a made in USA tag, size large in like this aqua blue colorway. Now a few of these t-shirts will be out of the personal closet, so some of them might be priced a little bit higher than if I would have found them at the thrift store, but they will still be very cheap. I'm trying to really move stuff, and the more stuff you guys buy, the more I can do trips to the thrifts because the more inventory I can buy. So just keep that in mind. You know, you guys buying stuff does help me make more content. Not only does it keep me rotating inventory. So next we have this, honestly, I don't even know how to pronounce, like Christian, I... I don't even know how to pronounce the last name, but it has money signs all over with the gold jewels. And then on the front, we have the big print as well. These shirts back in the day used to be very expensive. I remember they used to be 100 plus. Uh, I think I have it on my website for like $12 or $13. You guys remember back in the day, the vintage billionaire boys club ice cream. These shirts used to be the shit back in the day. I still wear them to this day. This is a size true large. Uh, could fit medium if you want a little bit baggy fit. I believe I have this on sale for $20 right now. On eBay, if you go and look at those ice cream shirts, they're gonna be about $40 to $50, so I figure 20 bucks. My prices are mainly gonna be half of eBay. For example, this is a collab, Puma collab with Kuji they did about a year or two ago. eBay, this will be about $40 to $60. I think I have it priced for $20. So this is an elongated size large. It is a slim fit, so it is a large. I know it might look like an XL, but on the sides it is tight and it goes elongated long t-shirt. Next, a few people, you guys have been watching for a while, you'll definitely see me because I used to always wear this shirt. This is like the vintage Harley Davidson and like the acid wash little pocket tee. This is a size XL. Again, I believe I have this up for like $15 or $10. All my shirts are pretty cheap. Now this is where it kind of goes to the more expensive. This is a Brian Adams tour shirt from 1992. Now this shirt on eBay is about $80 to $100, so I have it on my website for like 30 bucks. You know, everything will be half off from what eBay. Just in case if there are resellers that you guys wanna buy or that you wanna maybe start, you can buy it from me and list it on eBay. I don't sell on eBay, and that's why my prices are the prices that they are. Super fire shirt. I was actually planning on keeping this for personal, but bills are coming up and your boy's trying to get a car, so everything is for sale. We have this vintage ice cube. Really nice with the double print, the words on the back. Now if I had to guess, this isn't a single stitch, but this is probably early 2000s. There is slight cracking with the big front. This isn't like a very, very new age retro. So I do have it priced at like $60. If you guys know, you guys know the Juicy J skull print. Now this is a size XL. Maybe you could fit 2XL because it is a little bit wide. Um, I would wear it for my personal just because I like oversized shirts. You have the double side. This is 2001 liquid blue and again I believe this is $30. Super crazy vintage wrap shirt. 50 cent you have in the club double sided. Again one of my favorites. Now usually I think I actually saw one on Grail for like $300. Same exact shirt for $300. I'm only have it priced at like $70. And I think that shipped. It might even be $60. So make sure you guys check out the link down below for all the pricing. And if for some reason you don't see something that I showed today on my website, no problem. Just send me either an email at ditr954 at gmail.com or just hit me up on Instagram at ditr954. I will gladly either put this on the website or work out a bundle deal and that way get it to you. Because I know a few items that I'm going to be showing are in fact not listed, but I figured I'd still show you guys, and if you guys are interested, you guys can hit me up and be like, yo, I need that on the website. Or if things do sell, these will be the next items that will be listed on the website. So to keep it moving, we have a, I feel like, Pablo merch. This is from Sydney, Australia, size XL, in like the highlighter yellow colorway. This is $60, or $50 actually, I think I just lowered it to 50. And then the final t-shirt or like jersey we have is the Puma collab with A-Life. Again, super fire, size XL, 
but could fit large if you want like a baggy jersey style. I believe I just lowered this for $20. Next, I actually thrifted this the other day if you guys watched my trip to Goodwill, or if you watched my trip to the thrift, this Givenchy little tote bag, super nice with Givenchy spell out all over. I believe I just listed this for $40 plus shipping. Now everything, of course, every, yo, every time I do a trip to the thrift haul, somebody calls me every single time, I guarantee you. But we're not gonna answer because we do it in the thrift haul. Now we're gonna show you some shoes. So I actually got these and I was really hyped because it's the yellow and black colorway, but unfortunately they're a little bit too big, so I am selling it. This is Riders Sandal Collab with 12 in. Um, on their website, they retail for about $55, $60. I'm literally gonna put them on my website for like 25 bucks. So if you guys want them, 25 bucks plus shipping, they are yours. Literally only wore them once just to find out they're too big. They're size 12. I usually wear, like my true size is 11 and a half. I should have got an 11 with these. So if you're a true size 12, these will fit you perfectly. And I know for a fact these aren't listed, um, but again, if you guys are interested, just hit me up on Instagram or an email. I will easily list this on my website. But we have size 12 Vans embroidery checkered slip-on. These retail for 100, I believe I'm selling them for $40. And now that I think about it, these are on my website. These are not though, Nike SB, Valentine's Day, size nine, 40 bucks. We have Vans Authentic in the denim, the light denim with the red, really reminds me of the Levi's collab. Now these are a size 11 and a half and I want like 25 bucks. Polo Ralph Lauren, little floral shoes, reminds me of just like Vans. These are size 12, 30 bucks. Vans Style 36 collab with Goodall with a little yin and yang all over. These things are so fire. Uh, these are size 12, I want 40 bucks. Now again, everything is not including shipping. Usually shipping for shoes will be 10 to $15 depending where you are. My website does calculate automatically the shipping cost, so the price you see plus shipping is just, you know, shipping cost, shipping shoes sucks. It usually costs 15 to 20 bucks, so just keep that in mind. I actually thrifted these the other day. We have vintage Polo Ralph Lauren little sweat shorts. Now these colorway reminds me of the Fear of God collab with Paxson, like that little khaki colorway. These are size large, but honestly could probably fit XL. So if you're about a 34 plus waist, these will be perfect for you. Has a little back pocket. These will be like 20 bucks. If you guys watched the trip to the thrift, you saw I thrifted these, Nike SB push head twos. These are a size nine, and I want 40 bucks or 50 bucks for these. These are listed on the website. Vintage Tommy Hilfiger backpack. This is a Tommy girl backpack. A little mini backpack, it could either be used for girls or guys, you know, if you just want to have a little backpack. It does have a little Velcro, a lot of pockets. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of compartments to hold a lot of your stuff. Has a little Tommy Jean spell out. I want 30 bucks for this, plus shipping. Next, we do have a Tommy Sport little track jacket with the navy blue with the red and white going down. This is a size large. Again, very cheap, like 30 bucks, guys. I believe this isn't listed, but again, if it's not listed, just hit me up on Instagram, send me an email, I will definitely get it to you. And if you guys see something that you like that's either too pricey or you wanna maybe do a bundle price, I will definitely do a bundle price, take off five, 15, you know, and it really depends on the bundle. I can definitely put, if you guys wanna spend $100, I can put a $100 bundle and definitely uh, help you guys out. Next, we have a vintage pro player, size large, the USA Basketball little pullover and I love because it has like the USA little knitted in the sleeves just super fire this is like 30 bucks starting to get cold for the winter states we have this vintage starter Dallas Cowboys little goose puffer down jacket with the big star on the back now this is size XL and again about 40 bucks a little bit lighter jacket but it does have a fleece inside you have the vintage Tommy Hilfiger Hilfiger Athletics with the big little flag on the back. Unfortunately, there is a little small mark on that, but just make sure you guys check the pictures and price reflects. I think I'm asking like 25 bucks on this, guys. Super cheap. And last but not least, again, I only have 25 items. I do have a lot more stuff. It's just, I figured 25 items is the best solution. You know, you guys can literally check my website daily. Just scroll down, okay, nothing I like versus having literally 10 pages of hundreds of items listed that you guys have to go through. I feel like that's very annoying. I feel like if I have 25 items, it can kind of be fresh, and my prices are pretty reasonable to the point where we can kind of just turn and burn clothing. You know, the more stuff that I sell, the more content I can produce because the more room I have to hold inventory as well as more money. 
You know, if I sell everything within a few days, I can easily go back out and knock out another trip to the thrift. But if I have a lot of inventory sitting, then obviously I don't want to go to a Goodwill or I don't want to go thrifting and have, uh, you know, a bunch of inventory that's just sitting and it's just too much, too much. So the last piece or last find of today is a vintage chalk line. Now this is a polar fleece edition, how it has like that nice warm material. You have the Miami Dolphins embroidered and the Dolphins patch. This is a size large. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of flaw on that little like little chew or whatever, but the price is only like 30, 40 bucks, so you really can't beat it. So make sure you guys check out, link down below, emcvlogs.com. Make sure you guys check out my Instagram, at DITR954. Hope you guys enjoyed this little trip to the thrift haul. If you did, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe, Comment down below what was your favorite piece. Maybe I could do weekly hauls where I show you guys everything I find in the week, or I could do multiple videos throughout the week showing you guys what is for sale. You know, I really want to make as much content as I can. I know I've been slack. I see the comments like, yo, Amelia, when you first started, you were doing amazing. And yeah, because I had a full-time job and I wasn't pursuing YouTube, you know, by it is. I had a car, just everything, a lot of variables when I first started out on YouTube which now is totally different. But don't worry, we're trying to get back in the swing of things. Once I get a vehicle, it will honestly change dramatically. Like when I go to South Beach round two, it takes me six hours right now. So imagine when I get a car, it's literally gonna take 30 minutes. I can go to round two every single day. So don't worry, I'm trying to do that. But just know every purchase you guys do make on my website does help me a lot. I don't have a Patreon. You know, I'm barely making money on these AdSense. So it does help a lot. So I will see you guys tomorrow for another AMC vlog and don't forget guys, let's get it. I'm a motherfucking stoner. Catch your bitch, you know your thug on bone.